Um, this is a, a short, just overview tutorial of Flowwise again. Um, in this in this uh, application, I try to create a, a hugging chat um, application within Flowwise. I didn't really succeed, and I'll, I'll name the reasons why I could not. I didn't uh, succeed. But um, so just to backtrack, Flowwise is a IDE that's based on um, Langchain, so it's a low-code, no-code uh, development uh, environment that runs on on Langchain. So if you go to this plus sign, then you can search for different components. So the components, the array of components within Flowwise is is quite vast. And if I type in Hugging Face, you'll see there are two two components. The one is the uh, hugging face embeddings. So the embeddings are uh, um, embeddings can be used for any semantic search application and the like. And then at the bottom, we've got our um, inference wrapper for large language models. So in this application, I've got the hugging face um, um, wrapper for the large language model. I'm using GPT-2 large. And all you need to do is enter your Hugging Face API key here. I've got my chain, um, and it's linked to these two prompts. And all this application does is it finds the antonym of the word I enter. So this is a very good basic application to start with, and then from here you can build out your um, your application. One thing I did find was that it was very hard to I didn't manage to replace um, um, the, the um, chat open AI component by merely dropping a hugging face um, component in there. So, so the hugging face component large language model works with a chain, but the moment you want to add any type of agent, so the moment you want to add a conversational agent, and use the large language model of hugging face for that, you get a JSON error. So I, I surmise that um, the agents expect um, a certain JSON output or a certain data output from the chat open AI component. So as I mentioned, uh, you know, it would have been ideal to drop this chat open AI component, replace that with the hugging face large language model and then have an agent with memory and in essence then what you would have accomplished is um, you would have uh, developed application a hugging hugging chat application within this IDE but I found that this works quite well um, and then if I click on the, the speech bubble there you can have a conversation with your um, your gene app or your prompt chained app or your LLM app and it will return the the antonym of the word you've entered. I've also um, written an article giving an overview of this so I'll I'll put a link in the um, in the comments of this video to this article. So what you'll find in this article is um, I just re quickly revise how to do a Flowwise install on Mac OS. Um, in particular, it's so easy to run from the command line, create a, a virtual environment. Um, I also look at the different um, marketplaces. So there's quite a quite a group of uh, quite an array or collection of marketplaces um, uh, of, of application in the marketplace. Um, I I would say. If more of the, of, you know, there's currently no hugging face applic uh, applications in here, so that would be a big step forward uh, for Flowwise if they do add hugging face, and also make the um, the agent autonomous agent component compatible with the hugging face inference um, component. Again, what I showed you, um, the two hugging face um, components or or nodes. Um, and here we've got our application. And at the bottom, I just basically cover three points um, or three key improvements I think will make sense um, for Flowwise.